Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you might be. This video will replace a previous upload which for some reason became blurry and it involves the inclusion of footnotes in a Word document. I'll also talk about the inclusion and the use of the shift and enter command which enables you to stay within the same bullet point but down the line and makes the printing uh, line up correctly. What I mean by that simply is this, that a lot of, what a lot of people do, uh, they will press the enter key because they want to maybe put a uh, further uh, text below the, uh, say this first bullet point. They'll do that, of course what that does, it creates another bullet point because bullet points are actually paragraphs when you press the enter key and they backspace and then uh, they use the space bar to line up the text etc but that throws the printing out so what I'm going to do is to show you how to use the shift and enter key when I hold down shift and enter it puts the insertion point exactly where it should be so as you will see here using shift and enter I'm able to uh, have my text lined up ideally for printing. So no problem there. Now what I'll do is to look and show you how to insert footnotes. A footnote reference in the document itself, in the body of the document, is at the insertion point. So if I wanted the footnote number one to be there, then I would have the insertion point there, but I want it to be uh, slightly different. So I'm going to uh, press the tab key and the insertion point moves across and to insert the footnote I simply click on the references tab and insert footnote. And that inserts a footnote at the bottom of the document. I'll type this is a footnote. Nice and easy. Now I'll go back to the uh, top of the document, there's my reference 1. Now let's look at uh, the second footnote. I'll press tab to line things up and insert a footnote. And here I see this is also a footnote. Footnotes are really handy for uh, essays and the like, uh, particularly for uh, university and high school situations. Now. Um, what I'll do, I'll, I'll click on uh, show notes and that takes me up to the body so I can either scroll up or click show notes and it takes me up to the footnote area, uh, to the body area. Now we'll put a third footnote in, tab, and this will be the insert footnote and this is number three. Uh, this can be formatted. So I'm going to show you that the footnotes can actually be formatted. And it works on the golden rule of all computing, ladies and gentlemen, in that I need to select the data first, and then I'll make the text red, uh, perhaps italicised, and uh, we'll make it a slightly larger font as well. So I can actually format my footnotes. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this uh, this upload and I'm sure it will be much clearer than the previous uh, upload which as I mentioned for some reason became blurry and one of my commenters uh, pointed it out to me so I thought I should do the right thing and um, make sure that you can actually see what happens. Thank you so much for watching. We'll go back to the footnote area, just show notes and there we are. I also see in the references tab in the footnotes group that there is a dialog box launcher here in the right hand corner. When I click on that it gives me quite a number of options that I can use. Uh, the normal place for footnotes is at the bottom of the page but if you want them directly below the text then that is also possible. The footnote layout uh, would normally be matching the section layout uh, that is that um, the uh, uh, footnotes are at the bottom of the page in columns. The number format for the foot footnotes, you can have a choice there of numbers or alpha characters. You could also have a symbol if you wished, but uh, most people would use a number format. You can start at any number 
this could be particularly handy if you uh, are using footnotes in a uh, second chapter, third chapter, where you might wish to uh, have the footnotes start at the next number in the series, uh, continuing on from the previous uh, paragraph. The numbering uh, could be continuous, or to restart on each section, or restart on each page, up to you. And uh, then, of course, we simply uh, click Apply. So you have those options available to you. The best way is to just experiment with those and you'll soon see how they work. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe if you haven't already done so. We'd love to have you as a subscriber. Any comments would of course be appreciated. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.